Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back to the channel, my skadoosh bags. I'm Joey Moss. I shall be your host for the next 10 or so minutes. Amazing. This entire package came from the young chap, Jester King. Uh, he's been with me for quite some time. He says, Dear Moss Boss, a bit ago you made the call out for Walmart cubes. Sure did. Well, I found one to send you. No, there's no ADH deck in here. But I believe there is one of those promos that you were hunting for. This is very true. I was hunting for the promo ones. Because I started watching Bad Boy Gaming, Bad Boy MTG back in the day, when the cubes first dropped, and I started playing Magic in Return to Ravnica, I thought I'd celebrate the Return to Ravnica with Ravnica packs. And yes, a self-addressed envelope to send back and juicy pools. So let's get cracking, Captain. And congrats on 50K. PLA, Jester King. P.S. Some goat tokens for you to sign. GLM. Goat lives matter. My ninja. All right. So here's the goat tokens to sign. Jester King, you are the man. Thank you for sending that. Let's get to cracking some stuff here. Dragon's Maze. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, that was all a part of the block, right? Wasn't uh, Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash, and Dragon's Maze all up in one? And then he sent some old school Dissension, so that's pretty neat. So we will get to cracking. Let's go from weakest to strongest. I'm going to say like this. This is pretty weak. Then we go maybe like this. And then maybe like, ooh, this kind of dropped recently. Probably like this, 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 this. Maybe. We'll see how we get it. All right. I think we're going to crack this sucker open first. So many packs, so many things to crack. How the heck is everyone doing? We have Origins on one side. And on the other side, it's all shook up. Oh, we'll see what's up inside of here. Pretty neat, though. Yeah, if the cube doesn't weigh enough, uh, definitely it's probably not going to have anything good in it. But there were promos for a while. And I was hoping to pull a, a Walmart cube showing off the promos that you can get. It looks like they are inside here. So we got a Magic Origins pack and Oath of the Gate Watch. Never know what can come up inside of those. Promo. Bam! Oh, there we go. Zergo Helm Smasher. So it is a, I think it's a promo. Is it a promo? You guys know better. I think it's a promo. Orc Warrior. Legendary Creature. Pretty nifty. And what do we get up inside here? So this is a... Uh, this is this is a sealed deck. That's what that is. Well, it's not sealed. I guess it's kind of sealed. If anything's missing, let me know what set this is from, all that good stuff. It looks like this should just go with that, right? So that's kind of like defeating the purpose. They just took it out of the packaging, I guess. So we got a Hell's Thunder. Is that a rare? It looks like a rare. Yeah, it is a rare. Hell's Thunder. Pretty cool card. Flying haste at the beginning of your end step. Sacrifice Hell's Thunder with Unearth for five. It's a foe foe. Pretty neat. Cranko, a mob boss, put X11 one, one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield where X is the number of goblins you control. That is a, a great commander. Cranko, mob boss, and EDH is a fun commander. Uh, the Ogre Battle Driver. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains haste until end of turn. Fury of the Horde. You may exile two red cards from your hand rather than pay fury of the hordes mana cost untap all creatures that attack this turn after this main phase there is an additional combat phase followed by additional main phase oh my gosh banefire bam this card recently went up in price it's probably sitting at like five six bucks now banefire deals x damage to target creature or player if x is five or more banefire can't be countered by spells or abilities and the damage can't be prevented nasty little card got some goblin tokens up in here with a frenzied goblin infantry veteran the old Leon and Snare Casters. Uh, Dredgescape Zombie. Didn't expect to see him in here, but I guess so. Goblin Death Raiders. Hellraiser Goblin. The old Fleshbag. I guess a douchebag. More, more words or less. Goblin War Chief. Cathary Bomber. Cathary Bomber. Shambling Remains. Mar Mardu. Mar Marauder. It's Marauder, guys. Uh, Beetleback Chief. Uh, times two of those. The Flamekin Zealot. Scourge Devil, nice. A nice uh, I never. I don't remember seeing too many of these. Um, the artworks on these cards, pretty cool. Only the wild places. That's a look at that art. Look at that art. It's insane. Reckless Abandon, Shock, and yeah, you're done for me. That's more than a shock. That's like electricity. I mean, you are dead. You know. Uh, Bone Splitters, nice. Uh, disturbing artwork there. Arc Trail, cool art on that. Archrail deals two damage to target creature or player and one damage to another target creature or player. Goblin Bombardment. Cranko's Command. A couple of those. Act of Treason. Wow. Pretty neat to see all this. Fiery Fall. Evolving Wilds. Never been printed before. It's the first time it's ever been printed. Probably the last time. Gitu Encampment. 
Nomad Outpost, legit, times two of those. And tokens and lands to finish it out. Pretty neat. Swampy's in the back, baby. Swampy's in the back. Cool little deck there. Someone let me know what deck that is from. I have no freaking idea. Uh, we got packs to crack, Jack. That's right. We have Oath of the Gate Watch. We have Magic Origins. I think we're going to swap it. I don't know. You know, maybe like this. And then like this. Sure. So Dissension's going last. First to crack. Boosh. Let's try Dragon's Maze. What luck shall we find for you, Mr. King? Good luck to you. Let's see what we find. Let's get some crack in action here. Oh, I smell a little better than that. The new stuff, I will say that. Morger Burst. Maze Sentinel. Gruel War chant. There you go. The Sphinx. The Commando. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You pull the Planeswalker out of here. Do you realize what you've done? You've pulled the Planeswalker. One of the only few cards that are worth anything here. Uh, for plus one, tap target permanent. Then untap another target permanent. Minus two, Ralzarik. Deals three damage to any... Uh, I'm sorry, to target creature or player. Minus seven, flip five coins. Take an extra turn after this one for each coin that comes up heads. Oh my gosh. That's pretty ridiculous. And a Celestia at Guildgate. Nice little pools there, my dude. Nice little pools indeed. You are rocking the house right there, my friend. Rocking the house. We have a gate crash pack. Hopefully there's something juicy up in here for you. Something nice and moist. I hope we can find that for you. We know what the, the one pool we want. There's only one pool you want out here. Not really. There's a couple others, but you're really hoping to get a land for sure. The Elite. An Angelic Skirmisher. Whoops, we don't want to mix the piles. Go over there, young, young man. There you go. Uh, Angelic Skirmisher. At the beginning of each combat, choose first strike. Vigilance or lifelink creatures you control. Gain that ability until end of turn. Pretty nasty. Steep on the casting cost, but still a nasty little card. All right. Magic Origins. What ridiculous stuff will we find inside of Magic Origins? I did buy a couple boxes of these back in the day. And for a while, I had a patron who was trying to uh, dump his uh, origins on me. And I'm like, no, I just can't do it, man. I just can't do it. Uh, Psychic Rebuttal. Gold Forged Sentinel. The Victor. And a High Arbiter. That is our rare. Flying as Alamara, whatever. High Arbiter enters the battlefield. Each opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose the name of a nine land card revealed this way. Your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. It's kind of neat. Big to cast those. Seven drop. Ugh. Hasn't really seen a whole lot of play. And then we have a return to Ravnica. What magic will we find inside Return to Ravnica? Hopefully it's that one that, uh, uh what's it called? Um, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, it's the one that returns all the cards. Cyclonic Rift. Cool card. Should have invested in those. They were at like three bucks a pop for a while. Uh, the old Fury there. The Key Ruin, Guild Mage, and a Mythic Worm. You got two Mythics in here so far. That's pretty good, man. Uh, the Armada Worm. It's a big six drop. Trample when Armada Worm enters the battlefield. Put a 5-5 five, five green Worm creature token with Trample on the battlefield. So you get two 5-5 five, five Tramplers for, f for six. It's not bad, actually. As long as you got the... I mean, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I wonder if they, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's really not that bad. I mean, if they had hexproof, you know, it'd be a little better. But I mean, it's not that bad. All right, so we got uh, slip into space. I saw it. Slip through space. Slip into space. Slip into someone's space. Giggity. Um, and then we got a reckless bushwhacker. The old mortality. A trainer. We pulled a trainer. And we got the Yori. N Ruin Diver. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, draw a card. And a Full Art Mountain. There you go. Full Art Mountain was worth it. I'll, I'll say that right now. Guilds of Ravnica. Good luck, man. A lot of cool cards in this set. Maybe we'll get you a Phoenix, huh? Maybe we'll get you a Phoenix. Maybe a Duel Land. Maybe we'll get you a Duel Land. League Guild Mage. Right there. Price of Fame. Gird for Battle. The Charnel Troll is actually a solid little card there. Um, not sure how it's retaining value, but it's cool. Trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on Charnel Troll. Otherwise, sacrifice it. And then reduce. Discard a creature card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Charnel Troll. Oh, man! Look at you, lucky boy. Look at you, lucky boy. Pardon the Amara. Soul of the Accord Foil. 
That is gorgeous. I haven't seen one of those yet in person. That is gorgeous, guys. Gotta look at that. Lucky, lucky ducky. Holy smokes. Not bad. Last but not least, Ascension. I'm not sure what is all valued up in here. What are big hits? But uh, this is taking it back a little ways, I'll say. So we got a Wrecking Ball. A Sandstorm Eidolon. Slaughterhouse Bouncer. Look at that art, man. You just, you just can't make this kind of stuff up anymore. Rakdos Carnarium. Cytospawn. Helium Squirter. <laughs> all right. Yay. Soul Sworn Jury. Enemy of the Guild Pact. Protection for multicolor. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Our little friend from Ravnica uh, can't kill that. No, it cannot. That little instant two drop, that's right. Uh, the Torva Scalper. Thrive. Followed by a Shielding Plax. Rakdos Guild Mage. Pretty neat. Song of Agony. Stomp and Howl. Bronze Bombshell. She is cute to look at, though, isn't she? She's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Whenever, uh, when a player other than Bronze Bombshell's owner controls it, that player sacrifices it. If the player does, Bronze Bombshell will do a 7 damage hammer her. That's saying some stuff, man. Uh, yeah, giggity goo. All right, guys, I do appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to get these uh, I'm gonna get these signed for you. I will have to have a talk with you, see what you want to ship back. Um, we will be in touch. Make sure you message me or I'll message you, whoever does it first. Yay. As always, guys, PLA.